Welcome to Base Watches, your go-to destination for the finest timepieces. Today, we're delving into the realm of German watchmaking excellence, exploring the top five German watches for every price range in 2024. From precision engineering to timeless design, these watches epitomize German craftsmanship at its finest. Let's explore the world of horological mastery together. This is a pretty snazzy-looking watch. It's being presented in a 40mm red gold or stainless steel case, and it has all the signature elements of the Penna line. A big date display, with an off-center dial for the hours and minutes and an overlapping sub-dial for the running seconds. The moon phase, a purely classic implementation, with the moon waxing and waning in a crescent aperture, is at 2-0 with the big date display, well, the panorama date display, to use Geo's preferred term, just under it. The Penomatic Lunar has been around since 2003 and has not changed all that much since its launch at Base World. Case size has gone up the merest smidge, from 39.2mm to the current 40mm. The movement is the Glashut Original in house caliber 90 to 2, which has an off center double G skeletonized rotor. The movement also has the distinguishing feature of Geo Movements, which is a double swan's neck regulating system built on a balance bridge. One of the swan's neck regulators is for the regulator index and the other controls the position of the balance spring stud, which allows a watchmaker to easily correct a watch that's out of beat or for that matter, to set it up properly in the first place. In conclusion, the Glashert original Panomatic Lunar is a horological masterpiece that embodies the brand's heritage, innovation, and craftsmanship. Even at first glance, you can immediately tell that the case of the Junghens Maxbill Chronoscope is pure class. It comes in a 40mm, perfectly round shape made of scratch-resistant stainless steel, coupled with straight, slender lugs that fit nicely around the curve of your wrist. This is also a fairly standard case diameter, allowing the Junghens Maxbill Chronoscope to fit on wrists of virtually any size fitted on top of the case, is a fixed stainless steel bezel that rises up to meet the watch's domed crystal while also protecting it from any impacts or scratches. The case and bezel both bear a fine, polished finish that gives the watch a luxurious gleam under its Maxbill series. Junghans has developed a series of Maxbill chronoscope models, offered with a variety of different dial colorways, albeit with the same dial design. The dial of the Junghans Maxbill chronoscope is available in black, anthracite, and silver, each with elegantly textured finishes inside the Junghans Maxbill chronoscope, you can find a robust caliber J880.2. This is an automatic chronograph movement that is held together by 28 joules and has a smooth beat frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour. It also possesses a substantial 48-hour power supply, so you can easily leave this watch aside for the weekend without having to wind it. In conclusion, the Jung Enz Max Bill Bauhaus Chronoscope is a masterful representation of Bauhaus design principles and Jung Enz watchmaking expertise. With a watch like the SAR Rescue Timer, it's hard to pinpoint the most distinctive feature. Is it the uber legible monochromatic dial or the distinctive case shape with hooded lugs and rubberized bezel? Tough call, but I'll start with the case as it's really unlike anything else out there. Built from stainless steel, the SAR Rescue Timer measures in at 42 mm. However, that measurement is a bit deceptive. The case tapers from the case back to the crystal, so on the wrist, the watch appears visibly smaller than 42 mm. This effect is compounded by the black rubberized bezel framing the dial. Add in a 20 mm strap, and the effect is a watch that wears smaller and more comfortably than its dimensions would suggest. As with any good tool, form is derived from function. So, to appreciate why the SAR Rescue Timer looks the way it does, you need to consider why the watch was made in the first place. The SAR Rescue Timer was produced to suit the needs of the German Maritime Search and Rescue Association, an organization that has 60 cruisers and boats patrolling North Sea with personnel specially trained for maritime rescue missions. The SAR Rescue Timer Lumen is powered by the Salita SW200-1 automatic movement. However, in order to earn the Glashut designation on the dial, the movement is substantially reworked by Mool Glashut, 
In conclusion, the Mool Glass Shoot SAR Rescue Timer Lumen is a purpose-built timepiece designed for those who require a reliable and high-performance instrument in demanding conditions. The Nomos Club Ref 701 is an elegant and understated watch that exudes quality and craftsmanship. The 36mm case size is perfect for those who prefer a more discreet look, and the watch sits comfortably on the wrist. The silver dial is clean and easy to read, with applied indexes and thin hands. The design is minimalistic, with no date function, which lends it a clean and timeless appearance. The in-house Nomos Alpha Manual winding movement is precise and reliable, and provides a power reserve of 43 hours. The leather strap is comfortable and adds to the overall classic look of the watch. The case is made of stainless steel and is water-resistant to thirdum. The movement inside the Nomos Club 701.1 is still the brand's hand-wound in-house alpha caliber. It has a 43-hour power reserve and 17 joules, and it runs at a 21,600 frequency. In addition, the brown Horween Genuine Shell Cordovan leather with red stitching is the same as the one on the original 701. I think it's a shame that Nomos doesn't offer any watches under $1,000 anymore. But looking at the watch market as a whole, I think the brand is still asking a fair price for its products. The brand's dedication to fine craftsmanship and attention to detail is demonstrated by the Kudo Can Work One. The entire steel case, measuring 39 mm in width by 9.5 mm in height, is polished, including the step bezel, case band, and screw in case back. A very nice touch is the slight protrusion of the bezel and the case back to add a bit of profile to the side of the case. The onion-style crown is slightly flattened and engraved with a K for kudok. Winding the movement with the crown is very easy. The grip is very good and you get a nice sense of resistance when handling it, not too much but not too little. The same goes for setting the time. Of course, sapphire crystals are used for both the front and back, and the watch is water-resistant to fifthdom. The dial of the kudo can't work one is silver with a very fine graining on the surface. The centrally mounted hour and minute hand are made in steel and blued by hand by Cephon. The design and construction of Caliber 1, as it is called, is inspired by historical English pocket watch movements. The hand wound movement is visible through the Cephir case back. The design is simple and elegant yet striking to the eye due to its symmetry. The modest dimensions of the watch make this a very comfortable one to wear, as it will fit 999% of folks just fine. Overall, I was impressed with the watch during the time I had it. Very comfortable, very well executed, and very elegant on the wrist. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I will see you guys later.